When the first lockdown started, it was hard. It was hard not seeing my friends, being stuck inside with my family all day long, not going out, not seeing anyone, not speaking to anyone face to face, having this cancelled and that cancelled, feeling helpless, hearing the news every day about so many people being ill, not being able to breathe, dying. It was hard. Part of me wants to follow the guidelines and I get it, I'm not an idiot, but part of me wants to see my friends too. I want to be going out. And then I think about my mum and my dad. I think about my aunties. I think about my nan who's diabetic and if she catches it, probably won't make it. When I get past the anger, fear and frustration that all of this has caused, I realise that I can make a difference. It just takes one person like me bending the rules, seeing my mates, my mates seeing their mum, my mates mum working in the supermarket where my nan shops, to put my nan at greater risk. It's that chain. I have to keep reminding myself of that chain of people, coming into contact with people, coming into contact with people, and that small changes, small decisions that I make can affect the future of the people that I care about. If I'm flexible, if I adapt, if I try to master the anxiety and frustration and I'm brave enough to ask for help when I need it, and I might need it, this whole thing has left everyone vulnerable. If I keep on top of the ever-changing guidance and try to make it work for me, to become good at it, then I can be part of the chain of events that help and don't hinder. Even though it's hard, even though it's frustrating and I want it all over, even though it's not my fault, I want to be able to hold my head up high and say that I helped, that I was part of the younger generation that helped that I was part of the solution.